Maths Week 5, Dividing Decimals. First, check you have found and read these downloadable lesson notes found in Week 5. They cover multiplying and dividing decimals, and this video is going to cover dividing decimals. Dividing decimals are found on the second page, and we're going to run through this first example here. It says, work out 34.56 divided by 0 0.3. We're going to use the bus stop method that we've covered in a previous video. But first of all, we have a slight problem because we have a decimal that we're dividing by. To solve that, we can multiply it by 10. Let's see how we do that. Here's the same sum, 34.56 divided by 0 0.3. And again, we want to use that um, bus stop method but because we're dividing by a decimal, we have a step to do before that. And we need to turn this decimal that we're dividing by into a whole number. And to do that, we're going to times that by 10. And because we're timesing that one by 10, we have to do the same to our other number too. So we're going to times both of them by 10 to get a new sum. When we times by 10, it means that each of our digits moves one column to the left into a larger column. So here, if I put my decimal point in the same place, my three is now on the other side of my decimal point, And it's now a whole number because it's in the units or ones column. On the other side, my 34.56 has also been multiplied by 10. If I put my decimal point in the same place, we can see that each of these digits has moved one column to the left as well. So my six is now in the tenths column. My five is in the units or tens, or units or ones column. The four is in the tens column and the three is in the hundreds column. My new number is 345 Point 0.6 and I'm dividing that by 3. It doesn't matter that this number is a decimal, but I do need to divide that number by a whole number. I don't need this decimal point here on this side because there's nothing after it. Now that I've got, um, now that my the number I'm dividing by is a whole number, I can use the bus stop method. So first of all, I'm going to put the number I'm dividing by into a bus stop. 345.6 And the number I'm dividing by goes to the left of the bus stop. Now I can divide each of these digits in turn by 3. So first, 3 divided by 3. How many threes can I fit into a three? One. Four divided by three. I can fit one whole three inside a four, but I will have one left over. So that goes into the column on the right. That now makes 15 in this column. 15 divided by three is five. Notice how each time my answer goes on top of the bus stop. Here I've got a decimal point, so that goes in the same place in my answer. And then finally, 6 divided by 3 is 2, because I can fit two 3s into a 6. So my answer is 115.2.